Hello, what are we doing now? Crafts. We have a project. Mm -hmm. We are getting ready for our cruise. So, my idea. I ordered, I got 50 of these. They're so cute. And on the cruise ships, you find them in places. And they even make, you can order the little hang tags that say, Conductulations, keep or hide, you decide. Place in a public space only. And then when you find one, you're supposed to take a selfie with me and post to the social media using the tag to follow my adventures. Have you guys ever heard of this? Because I never heard of this. I never saw I found microphone. some. I kept, I found like three. Really? And I'm thinking, what is this? Am I shoplifting? What am I finding? What is it? Finally, I found out that... Did you ask somebody? No, I saw other people finding them and talking, and then they asked why, and I, I then eased you heard that. About it. I eased I do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and so they said it's... I don't know, because Jeep, you know, has the, the duck Jeeps thing. Jeeps do that. You can put a duck on a Jeep or yeah. something, and you have to keep the duck, I think, with a Jeep or something. Yeah, I don't really know the Jeep thing, but... No, the cruise does it, and I guess they post them of where they're at and stuff. So anyway, I decided this would be great for my business. Because she's going to put an advertisement on this. I have, I make my little business card that says YouTube this. YouTube channel. I was making these cards and I stamped it. And we're going to hang it with it. And it says my YouTube channel. So people will maybe be curious. But guess what? They probably can't do it on the cruise. Unless they pay extra for... They might have internet. Telephone or whatever it is. I yeah. never paid for it because it was a lot. And they always say it isn't very good anyway. But anyway, it's just a way of putting myself out there. Because you know my goal is 10000 is it? Is that just something that came out of your head right now? Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, I will never have 10,000. But yes, hey, you will. everybody does. She has 15. You will eventually. She has 15,000 and she's as disemboggled as I am. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It, it makes it got her 15,000. I know. It's because you want to be more entertaining on these shows. Because there's, you have to admit, there's some boring ones. Well, I wouldn't know because I if they don't catch my attention in the first five minutes, yeah, I'm out of, out of there. So you have we have to decorate them. Look how cute! And so they came with necklaces and stuff, and like I paid forty seven cents. If you've watched me, you've seen me get them all the time. So now we have fifty of them. That means we're gonna. Well, at first I'm gonna start putting out a lot in the first days. You are? We're on the cruise. Yeah, so people will be on the lookout. Start looking at. for them. Yeah, I don't want to put them all on the last you, day. What, like, what kind of places do you put them? Well, like, I found one uh, in when I was getting in the hot tub. There was one setting on the edge That's of the hot tub. That's a perfect place. That's so and cute. then I found another one in the cafeteria, kind of behind the... So it's kind of hidden? Kind of, but back there. And I ran for it, and this other lady goes, I was going to get that one. And then I found one by the elevators. Why do people do that? I mean, it's so funny. I know. Like, so, but we don't want people watching us put them out. So you're smuggling them out? Yeah, we're like hiding. We got to be kind of like a shoplifter. Where are you going to share them? Like in your bra? No. <laughs> you have to have Jamie put in his pocket or something. Okay. I don't know. I haven't think of that part. <laughs> You've got to plan this out. you got to have plans. Well, we still have 50 days or something. How many days? Now? I don't know. I'm still shopping. I know we are. We're it's still... A perfect clothes to take. Yeah, don't and between us. Going, now, don't I got, weigh anything. I got some of mine out last night. My glitter dress-up show night. Yeah. But she ordered something like I have, and so we're going to say... Are you wearing that what are tonight? You wearing tonight? I'm not wearing the cape not thing. Going don't to wear do, it. Yeah. Because you know we don't want to be twinners. No. Here's another stamp. And so we're gonna be. Thing is, we have to make that plan because we can't call each yes, other. Yes, you could pay like five dollars to have room to room service or something. For the whole trip. Yeah, or something. We did. Amy and I did it, but we only did it on the very last of it because we didn't know about it. 
and we wish we would have had it sooner. I think we should do it. We have to because, you we'll know. We'll never find each other. Meet. Well, and they won't let you take walkie-talkies. What? No, you can't take walkie-talkies. Because it interfere with their communications on the ship. It, or something, but you can't take them. Because I thought of that. I thought of that, too. I thought, well, and then I got these blow-up things that you can put them on a little blow-up thing. That's so cute. And see, from Temu, 349 for how many? Five. I splurged. You did. That's quite a bit for a blow I don't know. Finger. There probably was that Going many. Away. And then the sunglasses, extra sunglasses. Let's give this beauty queen here some sunglasses because she's a girl with a crown. I don't know if they with fit. The 6,000? Oh, look. Yeah. This stays on. I experimented. That's cute. I already glued the. These, I bet these are supposed to be for Barbie dolls. Sunglasses. Right, yeah. All right. I gave some to the grandkids for the Barbie dolls. I already did. We could go up there and get them because. No, there's plenty. We don't have that many. That they're gonna. On not all fifty are gonna get sunglasses. Oh. I see. I don't Let's know see. your plan. I know. I don't have one until I say it, and then I know it. I, I didn't know that. think ahead on everything, but. Jamie, did was this his plan? No. What? Any to, of this? To do the ducks? Yeah. I'm sure he's over there whining at you, telling you to stop the stupid. Yeah, stupid. no, but he likes. He found one and helped me get it. Did he like it? Was it fun for him? I don't know. When you found it? You kind of have to ask him, did you have fun finding a duck? I was going to, I tried to find, one guy on there found 14. His whole goal what on this cruise. What did he do? Just walk around looking yes. for ducks, and he didn't even enjoy the cruise. And there's, the there's cruise? tall vases at the top in, in the. Yeah. In the I'm gonna put. The room. Yeah, I'm gonna put some in there. How are you gonna get up there? Jamie's gonna put them up there. I'm making him. Okay, that's good. I kind of got glue everywhere, but it'll dry that's clear. Cute. See. Doing a good job. What if they find out it's me? My what name is on here. Angela Burton is on the hang tag. And they come to me and they go, yeah, well, you, could put no you are not allowed anymore I to do that. I don't think they would do that because I think that what, everybody's doing it. What can they do? I don't know. I don't think they would do They'll it. They'll find me. As long as I don't get fined, to fine. And if they say... They're fining you for... Yeah, littering. <laughs> Finding the find <laughs> or something. Oh, I think it'd be fun to find them. It but I was. wouldn't. I wouldn't want to put them back out, though. I'd want to keep them. I didn't put mine out. I brought mine home. I have. I've done rocks, painted rocks, and taken them. And you that brought. would have been cheaper. Yeah, but think how heavy they would be. <laughs> oh, in your suitcase. <laughs> we could be Lucy. Okay, we're taking this big bag of rocks. But we're going I hate to these scissors. Well. Why do you have them? Because they're like for it's other people cutting, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to trade? No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine with their golden scissors. Okay. Did you buy those because they were gold? No, they said they were quilt scissors. You couldn't cut fabric with these if you tried. I don't think. Maybe. What about this? It's kind of plain at the bottom. Who cares? Because I want it to kind of hide. No, we don't want it to hide too much because then they won't read it. They're going to read it because you've got these things sticking off a duck. They're going to go, what the heck is this? Here, here's another page. You're doing, or do you want to glue a duck or four? We have the threesome ducks. That's the bonus one. Oh. The threesome ducks. It's not that kind of threesome. Stop that. I wasn't going to say anything. Okay. But it's a mom and a dad and a baby, and we're getting them together because that's what we think of in our life. Of course, if they're singles, they know why we have to have a family and everything. We're going to try to stick them together. Yeah. That glue will dry. Just hold it till it dries. Tomorrow at this time? This is probably my last video. No, it isn't. You're just going to stay a little longer. If you left Monday, you'd get to see David. We said that last Monday. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've been gone two weeks. That's nothing compared to Australia. Oh, I know. 
And her grandson's at the house. It's not like her house is empty. Yeah, it's not empty. And he's watering. They got a water bill, and it was $95. And they're like, they what? The hose on. What is that child drinking? Oh my God. <laughs> is he like, What's going taking on? showers too oh, much? I couldn't believe it. But then they found out. Yeah, they raised the water rate. And, and didn't they didn't tell anybody. Tell so so whole, everybody's... The whole town's on social media going, what's what with the water? I get paid $30 more. And I'm going, oh, I'm so glad it's not just us. I mean, not that uh, I want it. Mine's 65 a month. Well, my rental. And so one day a month, it was 85. It was supposed to be 50. Chad had a leak in the... Yeah. And so we had to go fix that. We went on vacation once, and the toilet was running. Oh, no. You should have saw that water bill, because we were gone for a while. We could not figure it out. You had to jiggle we come the home, handle. Yeah, somebody didn't jiggle it, and so it was running that whole, like, oh, week and a half or no. something. No. I think it was when we were at the lab. This is our morning talk show, but we're really recording this in the afternoon. We went to the fair. I did. But I don't, I'm not going to be airing this right away. Because I have the fair to air. So you would have already, the fair to air? Fair to air. We would have already seen the fair when by yeah, the time so you see so you'll have seen one. the fair and how much fun we had. Yes. We could, see, you got to go every day. We got more days of the fair you could oh stay. Oh my gosh, we saw this lady. Which one? The contortionist. Oh yeah, I recorded her in her last act. So you might have seen it. It was something. Was that copyrighted or anything? They didn't have a sign that said do she not record. She had some music going, but it wasn't like any it music I'd ever heard before. Yeah. There is music on YouTube, a channel that is I know, uncopyrighted. I but I know how to do shorts and do that and make it silent and put that music. But I don't know how to do it. I have to, we got to watch a lot of YouTube and learn. We want to watch. That's another reason. You I can't don't have to. Hey, yes, you do, because everybody wants you to start a YouTube channel. I don't think I could do it, you guys, because I don't. I think we play off of each other. We do play. And I, if she wasn't there, I don't think I would have anything to say. They just want you to tell stories. Did you know when we? She was the oldest sister, and we all slept in one room except for Lisa. She slept in our mother's bedroom until she was twelve, six <laughs> in a crib until in a she crib. was six. We didn't think it was anything wrong with it. But she was small for six, was she? <laughs> <laughs> but the house was crowded. We didn't have any place for her. It was a little tiny house. And so when Larry left home, because he had to have a room of his own. Because he was a boy, the rest of us were girls, so. But Carolyn would tell us stories. Yeah. And, oh, the one about the closet, the secret passage in the closet. Isn't that funny? I remember doing that. Oh, that was my favorite story. And... So she could be to the storyteller. I could. Channels. Yeah. You could get all your grandkids and kids gather around uh -huh. the and YouTube you can tell channel the story tell you a about story. the closet and how the girl was lonely. She didn't have anybody and she found a closet. In her closet was a closet door. A portal. A, oh no. <laughs> the first portal. The and first she went portal. in there and this is it not was a house. Like it. Oh, you're still on that one. It doesn't stick very good. Move on. I'll put the baby. Just up put here. it over there, and don't Let touch. It okay. Yeah. Anyway, she was the best storyteller. Our mother didn't tell stories. Mom. She mom read was to a us. great mom, but she dad was either. the hands-on guy. He read us the funny We would papers. lay in bed at night crying, or something was wrong, like a spider in the corner, and we'd, we'd call mom. mom. Bad and dad dream. came running. Bad for dream. everything, you get sick, think you're going to throw up, we're screaming. Mommy. And she never Here came once. Dad, dad. like, I don't want you, I want my mommy. She wouldn't have come. She, she was spoiled. Didn't. That's spoiled. Her well, time. you know what I think? What? I've thought about this a lot, because I've sure done different things than our mom did for us. Yeah. Not that it was a bad thing, Red but just too. different. She bought us records to listen to. Yeah, but they just like music, so a lot of it was... But we had story yeah, record books. we did have story, but I don't think it was because she didn't read to us. I oh. think it was just, they were popular back then. Yeah, maybe. And, um, 
I think it's because our mom was an only child and mom oh, never had to share never. and mom didn't have any siblings and to fight with to fight with or know what the dynamics of Sibling a family was she just didn't get it like as we got older us girls were always close with each other and if we came you know if they moved away it wouldn't even have to be if we moved away but if mom found out that us four girls went and did something and Not didn't together. take her yeah or we got together to do something Sister. like this, she would feel very left out and very sad that we didn't invite her, even though she wouldn't wanted to go. Oh, but she, didn't she like to wanted go to go. Well, she did sometimes. When I shopping, came, she would go yeah. shopping. When I came to visit her, if I wanted to go to the store alone or go somewhere to visit a friend I had there, I thought you came to see me. She was really, you she had to do mad. all of your attention on her. Or she, I think it was jealousy. And if we had a Brookings friend want to see us and come to her house to visit us, she didn't like she that didn't either. Like that, so you had to go to their house, and then it was like you, you, came you to were see supposed me. to see me, not her. So it was really hard. And she even did it, did it with this us girls wanting to be together. So I have uh -huh. I have three daughters, and they get together. You know, and when they get when we come, because they live all over the place, and when they get together, they want to go do something and. I, because I know what mom, did. how she acted with us, I've made a real point of not like, Are, can I come or will you take me? Because right. the dynamics of sisters is different than the dynamics with Mother daughters daughter. and mothers. And sometimes I want to encourage my daughters to do fun things together. Because we're not always going to do that. No, and I just think it's good to build a sisterhood and and... As a mom, I don't want them to feel guilty they didn't invite me. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'm sad I don't get to go with them because I find out later that they went and did this. They had ice cream. Yeah, you know, but I have to put myself in check and go, remember every time oh, we tried to yeah. do anything, mom made us feel guilty like we. Well, and another thing. Um, the other thing was that when, when, if you knew the story of how our parents got together, mom was 16. But she was a very, it was during the war in the 40s, I think 45 they met. And dad came, have you told this story? Okay, dad came home on leave. Um, I think he thought he was going to get engaged to somebody because he had a ring. But he was going to go, the last day he was home on leave from the Navy. And the last day he um, promised his friend on the ship that he would go see his mother. And say hi to her because he didn't get to go so he went in to where the mother worked which happened to be where our mother worked and she was just this a dress shop yeah it's a very mom loved to say exclusive which means it had like cashmere sweaters it was very expensive stuff and, and that's where i get my love of dresses it might be <laughs> we all had it so anyway dad came in and he was talking to the mother and Mom said she was upstairs with this other girl, and they were folding sweaters. It was a two-story two story, um, store. Yeah, but you could see down to the front Balcony, door. Yeah. So they were had been doing dresses and folding things, and Dad was pretty good looking. He was a little tiny guy, but he was really good looking. Lots of hair. Yeah, and, and wavy black hair. So he um, he saw Mom up there. And if you don't believe in love at first sight, it's true, because our dad got the arrow shot right into Sorry. his heart the minute he saw her i'm marrying that yeah woman. it was just girl. like oh my gosh so mom says her and the little girl working with her they were going what is he looking they were talking about him and going what is he looking at what's he looking at and she and goes he keeps girl. looking at me the other girl it's like that. yeah the other girl's like he's looking at me and mom's in her head going she tells us this story yeah. later he's not looking at you he's looking at me and so later the mother came up he left the mother came up and said um that navy that sailor down there would like to take you out well grandma said no to anything mother wanted to do. So mother had learned at a very early age that all she had to do is pitch a fit and she could wear her parents down and she could do what she wants. So, um, she, I don't remember this part of the story. I wrote this story one time just because I wanted to keep it in my mind. But And I read it to mom. She was in her final days and stuff. And 
she looked at me and said, were you there? <laughs> I said, so you got right. I just, I said, no, but I remember all the times you told me this story. And so anyway, he came back the next day and took her to lunch. Oh, I and I think they wanted to, to go, I think that day, I think it was that night that they met that he wanted to take her out. And somehow she didn't even talk to him because that, the, the woman's the one that said he wanted to do that. And somehow he got her address. That part of the story I don't remember, but he, she had to go home and tell wow. her mother that she was gonna go on a date with this sailor. Now, White City is a... Is a sailor town. It was so, a veteran's yeah. town. Yeah. It, was a, it was a camp for the for all the vet, uh, Viet, not veterans, but the soldiers and the sailors and the whatever. There wasn't any sailors there, but there was army guys. Oh, and so, those young girls that were teenagers were pretty used to seeing these cute boys everywhere when they would, you know. And um, anyway, she wore grandma down and um, he came and picked her up. I don't, that the part about how he got her address, I don't get. But anyway, she went on that date with him and he was shipping out the next day. And he came in, I think he, she went to lunch with him. And you know, he had that engagement ring. So before he left, he asked mom to marry him. And she said yes. Oh, they hadn't even known each other 24 hours. And she said yes. And anyway, he went back to the ship and then they started writing. I have most of their letters. And I read dad's letters and it's just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I never read Oh, them. well, I, if you ever read his journal, it's pretty much like oh, his love letters. Oh. It was just writing about the ship and everything. and. So he came home on leave and met more people. And anyway, they got married. That was in August. They met in August and they got married in April. And he was on, I mean, that was on, he was had to be shipped out or something. He hitchhiked all the way across the United States. He was on the East Coast. In those days you could do that. And he hitchhiked all the way across the United States and he tell he would tell us how many hours it took. It was he not did. very long, like yeah. three days or less to, to get rides. Because anybody with a uniform on, anybody would pick him up back then and you felt like you could feel safer, you yeah. know. So anyway, they did get married in April and she turned seventeen in June. So she was sixteen. They got married at a ball. So a they church. didn't even have to do decoration. It was a church dance. It's a church dance. It's called the Golden Green Ball. And she was one of the princesses, but she didn't get queen. Her best friend did. Oh, and dad right. always said to her, well, you were my queen. Okay, so now we have a dad that is so mesmerized by our mother. She could do no wrong, even though she didn't know how to keep house. She didn't know how to do laundry. She didn't know how to cook. She didn't know how to do much of anything, he but he care. didn't care. He did not know she was 16. Cause like I said, she was like the Jane Russell. If you guys don't know who Jane Russell was or one of that type of figures, that was our mother's. And when we look at pictures her, when she's um, 16, she it's okay. looks- um, They can't see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> when she was 16, she looks at least 21. So. By the time he asked her to marry her, he did not know it was 16. Grandma and Grandpa about came unglued and was like, you're not married. I mean, I don't blame him. Do you guys blame him? There's no way I let my daughter do this. But anyway, he worshiped our mother. He was a poet and he wrote her a love poem for, for everything. everything, every holiday. And they all rhymed and they were all sweet. I've got a box this big of all the cards and love poems that he wrote our mother over the years. She kept them all. She kept them all. And I mean, Christmas, their anniversary, the day they met. I have that day on my calendar because it was a big deal for them. But yeah, what yes. it did to us girls was we thought all men were like our dad, very romantic. We thought they all men are. were gonna write poems to us. They were gonna bring us our favorite candy bar. Every time, every went to time the store. they went to the store, Dad would stop on the side of the road, jump out of the car, and go pick daffodils and Flowers. bring them to our mother. Poppies. We thought all men did that. We didn't know. 
and it kind of ruined some of it. <laughs> but anyway, My dad never it cheated. was a beautiful love story right up until the, the end, yeah, you know. The end. When mom died, dad was alone for two years, and I put him in a retirement, kind of assistive living, but he didn't really need much help because I went and did it all and I didn't have to pay for a nurse to do anything. He was fine. His brain was fine. Everything was fine. He was so lonely. And his OCD and his ADD was kicking in really, really bad. And he was in his 80s, you know, late 80s, maybe 90s, I think. And um, I didn't, couldn't let him live alone because he just didn't think about the consequences. Like he it was a creature of habit, so he would have oatmeal every day for breakfast. But on Saturday, he would eat bacon and eggs. And so on Friday night, he would literally get the bacon out and the egg and put it by a plate, put it by the, the fly, fry pan for the next morning. And I started catching him doing that and go, Dad, you can't put bacon out overnight, you know. So I knew he was gonna oh, yeah, start right. doing stuff like that. So I had to put him in that place. But I would go in there and he didn't know I was coming because I just, I didn't want the people that work there and go, oh, she comes in every morning at 10 o'clock. We better look like we're helping him or we better get his room clean or, you know, something. So I popped in there unexpectedly, but I went every day, but I went in Different unexpectedly because I wanted to make sure that they weren't pulling something on us. And I'd go in there sometimes because he didn't know when I was coming either. And he'd have a chair sitting next to his um, recliner and it was because he was, Pretending. mom was sitting. Yeah, he always time. said, she came to, I heard a he noise. Did, yeah. She came to see me today. He told me a couple of times. He was afraid to tell me because he thought I was going to make fun of him. And that made me sad that he thought I would. But he, he knew that sounded crazy. But he said, I woke up last night. Guess who was sitting on the bed? And I go, who? Knowing what he was going to yeah. say. He said, your mom was here. And I said, oh, Dad, that's so wonderful. We How just, is she? Yeah, we go along it, with it because yeah. I'm no Who person to say yeah, that maybe it did happen. I mean, if if his prayers were answered, then that did happen because that's yeah. exactly what he would have wanted to have happen. He was he always wanted to be to live to 100 because he wanted he was like that a statistic guy. And he wanted to be lived to 100, but when mom went, he never said that ever again because he was just kind of hanging out and still. And you guys, they played bingo in that place, and he would go. There were three men and about 40 women in that place. Men don't make it as much as the women. So he would go play bingo, and I'd go help with the bingo. And he'd been there at least two years close to two years and one day he said to me and those women they were just like it's so funny because you get a man around and they just you Change. can see they're kind of like flirting you know or he'd walk across the street the church is right across the street so he'd get his walker and he'd put his suit on his tie and walk across the street he'd come back and i'd walk him back because i was scared for him to go across the road and these women be sitting there in the little living room and go oh he cleans up nice you know? <laughs> i was like ooh, you know <laughs> but um he did, he went right over his head he was on a he mission to get to his room yeah, you know so anyway but he wouldn't even look at no it well here's why at, at, at the end of almost two years one day because i was in there playing bingo with them and stuff and you get candy bars and stuff and they were always like did you ever play yeah i played well sometimes i was a lady that did the thing i tried um, to help out oh, yeah. but um he came to me and he goes, he kind of looks around and he looks at me and he goes, do you think your mom would be mad at me if I talked to these women? And I felt so bad. I said, no, dad, these are not, you're not marrying them. You're just, you're just Isn't friends. It? These are your neighbors. Yeah. I said, no, she wouldn't be mad. I'm thinking, how long has that been going around in his head that he couldn't I even talk look to them? I, I can't, can't look. Mom would be now. really mad if I look at Aww. these. And mom really wasn't very a jealous person because she didn't have to be. That man never looked no. at another woman in his entire life after he saw her when she was 60. Yeah. He carried a picture of her on their honeymoon in Jamie, his wallet Jamie, his whole life. Jamie had the picture of me, the first picture I sent him. It just went through the wash. And it just went through the wash and ruined it. you got to get it. another one. I know, you can but fix it. not that one. can't get that one. Anyway, probably. we love our new daddy. He was, he was a, he, we didn't know what ADD was or anything, but he, after he got older, we started figuring it out. He, he would literally sit down and before his bottom hit the the, the chair, he was back up because he just remembered something. He had so to he's do. very active, very active. 
and he, boy, could he fix things. <laughs> anything he would take apart. He could fix anything, except, he like you told the story it. about your soles coming off your shoe. And he didn't fix things very he, good. He had, he, like Angie said, he got glue, and we gave him glue and everything for Christmas, for his birthday, everything, so he had tons of glue. But he'd take your shoe and he'd glue it, he'd and then he'd it. lift up the couch and put it on your shoe. Or this piano or the sewing machine. Something, something so heavy. it would like really, you know, glue hard. Then the next morning you go get your shoe. <laughs> it has a permanent <laughs> dent in the toe because, and you couldn't even get your foot in hard because he dented it so bad. But we thought all dads did that. We didn't know he did. Oh. oh, he fixed it. It doesn't flop anymore, but I can already get my foot in. So, anyway. It we was have fun. good memories of him. We the funny papers oh, to us. He had narcolepsy. And but we didn't know what that was. And we would just wait for him to he'd wake read. up. He'd read. We'd sit on his lap and he'd have the big, you know, the paper in those days. Was funny like papers, this. yeah. We'd sit on his lap and he'd read. And he had, like I said, narcolepsy. He would just go. His voice had drawn off and his head would kind of come and by we, yours I and hit the looking face. up at him okay, like, just wait. He wait, he'd wake up, up. And, and you guys, he'd wake up and, and the same sentence, he'd right, go right continue. back where he was. And it was so funny, but he was a good daddy. He'd fly kites with us. I'll tell you though. But when you got to be a teenager, When you got to be a cool. teenager, yeah. it was pretty embarrassing. Dad worked at a dairy. And he'd come home and he wore white clothes, but and he, he had to wear rubber boots. He smelled like sour milk. And he wear, um, you know, those brown rubber boot things that people wear. And he wore those. Water he, boots. Water boots. And, but his pants then were always rolled up to his kneecaps. So he'd come home and be, and he'd change those boots outside, but he would just put a pair of slippers on. And then if anybody came in and go, Dad, the, the chain fell off the bike, and boy, he, you know, oh, I can fix it. Out he'd go. Well, here I am as a teenager. Rob, my husband, lived across the street from me, so I was pretty mortified about it, almost anything that happened in my house. And he'd get on that dumb little bike after he fixed it and ride around the, it the whole <laughs> road. So everybody, and I had four boys in my class that were my age on my road that were all kind of popular. And here's my dad with his white legs, legs and rolled up pant legs, riding this little bike, trying to see if it's working. And I was just <laughs> mortified. It's like, why do you have to do that? But now I just I have good memory. It's okay. Bless his heart. Yeah. He was a good daddy. But at the time I was just, Oh no. This is awful. They're going to go to school and tell about my dad, you know, something like that. But he would go to the dump or something and find old trikes and cars and stuff. That must be where we got most of our bikes. And he would fix them up and get it like what steering oh, wheel was Oh, remember gone. where we got the new bike? He won a contest. He a won a jingle contest. See, I told you, our dad could bird. write poems and he could write jingles for back in the day when people did radio Cereal. advertisement or TV. They always did a little song and a jingle on the radio and so they would have a contest. Anybody could send in your, your li it would be a limerick, yeah. is that what you call it yeah. or something? Yeah. And so he would send it in and one time he, I think he won two times, but one time he won, he got a new bike. A kid bike. A kid bike. Us. Well, it was like, as a girl's bike? Yeah. It's a girl's bike and it was a mid mid-size. We'd never had a new bike before. Well, whose bike is it? Yeah, which we kid? like we're all looking at each other. Whose bike is this going to be? I think we just shared it. It but was mostly Sean's, Sean's name. Yeah. Oh, I think he because he went, wanted to put more than one thing in. Yeah. So, so he, he would take each one names. of our names and act like we sent it in, and then I think Shauna's limerick, limerick, yeah, hers limerick, won. limerick, hers won. So it was in theory, you know, hers, but. He loved it when he won something. One time he won a, was that a Wheaties contest? Yeah. I think it was a Wheaties contest. Take your Wheaties. Oh, he would tell, if he was here, he could tell you which he one won. He could tell you everything he'd ever, yeah. they're funny. They make, he liked them more than we Laughing did. Laughing hard. He'd start, he couldn't Come even tell them to Wheaties. you. Yeah. He couldn't even tell them to you because he'd be giggling so hard about how funny it was to, you know, to say the, oh my gosh, I missed that. That was so fun. We just kind of roll our eyes because we were now, teenagers. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, you know. But he was funny. He could take, every time a, a grandbaby was born, he wrote a poem for them. We had them all. If we got married, he wrote a poem for you about your life and, and meeting this boy 
Well, you know, how you got I love my poem because it's about the boy across the street. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I have I have several poems. Yeah. <laughs> she's lucky; she got more poems poems than me for her wedding. <laughs> wedding plural. Yeah. So, it's hard to change the time. My little baby that died. He wrote a poem yeah. for him, and he's quite noted for it. You know. Oh, he was he got poems in the paper, and yeah, he liked to act. Mom had a little bit of a problem with him being in place and stuff because she, she, she's kind of, kind of a private person. She got bullied so much when she was a little girl. She didn't like being in front of people. And Dad was a showman and he loved it. Yeah. He could sing and he any song that came out on the radio he knew the words. He said when he went on the Navy ship, you know they didn't have, they couldn't hear things out at sea, but he, they did used to do the top twenty on the radio what songs were popular they don't do that anymore but they did in the 40s they kind of and he knew all the songs the words he, the words to all the songs and then one time he they offered him a beer i was like every navy guy got two beers or something so he drank it and then they asked him the name the words to a song and he, he couldn't, couldn't remember. remember so that's why he said i will never drink again because he never it, did. So, it takes something from you never drink i couldn't remember that and I, i'm not i know gonna, that's because i yeah. drank that beer <laughs> so he told all my yeah. boys that story so don't ever drink yeah that didn't work it'll for ruin some your brain yeah and but the so, thing is that the men would come to him i think that's how he kind of got kept from being bullied too because he was only about Five, five or six or something. He was a real little guy. Well, he's five, seven. I don't think he so. wasn't five, five. When he, he died, he was maybe, but I don't, I don't think, he, think was. he was. I don't know. Larry's five, seven, isn't he? Yeah, I thought Dad maybe was five, Maybe he was seven. about that size. I don't. It seemed really short because we're short, but he still seemed short. But anyway, the guys all come to him and ask him to sing one of the top hit songs because they couldn't get it on the radio. Uh huh. And he was their entertainment. He would just pop up and sing that latest song by Frank Sinatra or, you know, somebody. And uh, they loved him for that. So. I need Dad here to fix this. Tell me how this... This is supposed to go on top of the hat? Yes. How is that supposed to go on top of the hat? Well, it's not supposed to go on that thing. That's where you put the rubber band through, I think. You just glue it and hold it. I'm not doing that. You don't get a <laughs> thing on your hat. <laughs> you just go there. Just get thrown away. We didn't away. get that that thing from dad about being patient. <laughs> I'll find a way to make this work, because he would. My battery's going dead, so it might be a sudden, sudden. Uh, goodbye. Yeah. But That's not very unusual. No, you won't notice any difference. No. So Just suddenly, it'll be It'll blank. be gone. <laughs> we'll be gone. We talk quite a while. We, I talk most of the time, unfortunately. But yeah, I made more ducks here. I know. I it's my project anyway, not hers. So, but you're going to be on the cruise too, you know. Did you need the glue? I have the glue, but oh, I'm trying okay. to figure out. How did you Well, the I have the on? cut, the back. Is the back Well, they don't have too much of a foo foo back there. See, some of them you have to cut the hat like oh. this if it doesn't work. I think this one will work. It right. might. Anyway. So anyway, we are having fun. We could be floating, but maybe we're floated out. I don't know we'd ever be floated out. Swum, swummed out. It's going to be my last swim, though. I know, but no, it isn't because you still have Thursday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. I think I have to go home because I keep waiting for David and Amy to come and then they keep changing their plans. I, I can't do that all the time. But just think of the fun videos of all of us together. I know. Like in Coos Bay when we were there. We don't even know if they'll really come. They will. Are you hooking these guns on them? I didn't know I had one. Oh, Barbie might want the gun. No, I don't want to do you don't You're want not supposed Barbie to have a gun. You're not supposed to have guns this on the ship. This is an AR-15 too. We don't want that one. No. I this don't. is a guitar. We could do a guitar. Yeah. Cowboy. I think it goes with this guy. This is the cowboy with the scarf. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get a cowboy hat. I got. Wait. And here's an extra hat. I didn't put on that other guy. Oh, this is just so exciting. All right. Maybe when they're all done, we'll line them up in a picture for the thumbnail. These oh, little guys. We have about 40 more to do. It's gonna, we're going to be at this till dark. 
but it'll be fun. Bye, guys, if I don't see you again. <laughs> Till the cruise.